assalamu alaikum welcome back uh we have discussed the pharmaceutical equivalent pharmaceutical alternative and therapeutic equivalents now come to the point bio availability uh you can see that we are going according to our course outline definition and terminology now we are here bio availability bio equivalence and drug disposition so what is the bio availability bio availability mean the rate and the extent to which the active ingredient or active moiety is absorbed from a drug product and become available at the side of action for the drug products that are not intended to be absorbed in the blood stream by availability may be assessed by measurement intended to reflect the rate and extent to which the active ingredient or active moiety became available at the side of action it is not necessary for all the drug uh, to produce their pharmacological effect after entering in, in systemic circulation sometime we need uh localize action in case of uh, dermal uh, efficacy of a drug like ointment cream so there how we can see the drug is bio available so we check the active ingredient or actual moiety become available at the side of action how much the drug is bio available at the side of action okay now considering the concept of bio availability many factor uh, factors have been found to be influence the rate and extent of absorption and hence the time course of a drug in the plasma and therefore at its side of action this includes the food eaten by a patient the effect of the disease state on drug absorption the age of the patient the site of absorption of the administered drug the co-administration of other drug as well as the physical and chemical properties of the administered drug iske alawa the type of the dosage form the composition and the method of the manufacturing of the dosage form moreover the size of the dose dose and the frequency of the administration this a uh, given drug may exhibit the differences in its bio availability if it is administered if it is in the same type of dosage form by the different route of administration for example an aqueous solution of a given drug administered by oral and intramuscular route by the same route of administration but in the different type of dosage form for example a tablet a gelatin capsule or an aqueous suspension administered by a per oral route ya phir aap kahe ki in the same type of dosage form by the same route of administration but with a different formulation of the dosage form likewise oral aqueous suspension in its different formulation
So the variability in the bioavailability exists by a given drug from the different formulation of the same type of dosage form or from different type of dosage form or by different route of administration can cause the plasma concentration of the drug to be too high and therefore cause a side effect or too low and therefore the drug will be ineffective. Okay, now uh, come to the definition. The amount of an administered dose of the drug that does reach the systemic circulation in the unchanged form is known as bioavailable dose. The percentage of an administered dose of a particular drug that reach, reaches the system circulation intake is known as bioavailability. Bioavailability is defined in the FDA regulation as a rate and extent to which the active ingredient or active moiety is absorbed from a drug product and become available at the site of action. The term absolute bioavailability compare the bioavailability of the unchanged drug in the systemic circulation following a non-intravenous dose, for example, uh, given by the oral, rectal, transdermal, sublingual, intramuscular, subcutaneous with the bioavailability of the same drug following intravenous administration. We compare the bioavailability of, in, of any other route of administered drug with the intravenous administration. This is called absolute bioavailability. The bioavailability exhibited by a drug is thus very important in determining whether a therapeutic, uh, therapeutically effective concentration will be reached at the site of action or not. Bioavailability is defined by the FDA in its regulation CFR 320.1 the rate and action to which the active ingredient or active point is absorbed from a drug product and become available at the site of action. For the drug product that are not intended to be absorbed into the blood stream, bioavailability may be assessed by measurement intended to be uh, to reflect the rate and the extent to which the active ingredient or active moiety become available at the site of action. By availability mean the rate and extent to which the active ingredient or the active moiety is absorbed from a drug product and become available at the site of action in this graph. You can see active solution by per oral route. Drug is administering, entering the blood circulation, increase, increase, increase. In, at, the, at some time, it's reached a maximum concentration and decline. But when you see the active solution by the intravenous bolus injection, In this route of administration, the medicine or a drug, active moiety or active ingredient is statically into the um, system circulation. So there is uh, some differences in IV administration and other route of administration. There is a rapid action of which the active ingredient or active moiety will produce its effect um, immediately after 
administering the drug, you can see and eliminate after some time. This is the typical plasma concentration time curve obtained by administration of equivalent dose of the same drug by the intravenous bolus injection and by the per oral route. Which of the drug will produce quick and rapid effect, pharmacological effect? Obviously, the intravenous bolus injection, active ingredient or active moiety, which is absorbed from a drug product and become available at the site of action. It is 100% bioavailable as compared to the other, uh, other route of administration. And we can determine it drug effect by the bioavailability measurement intended to reflect the rate and extent to which the active ingredient of moiety become available at the site of action in the serum concentration, the plasma concentration, how much the drug is bioavailable. We have described the bioavailability. This slide two. Now, what is bioequivalent? As the name show, bioequivalence is the term used to describe the biological equivalence of two preparation of the same drug. If the two products are said to be bioequivalent, they would be expected to have the same therapeutic effect. The US FDA describes in its uh, guideline bioequivalence uh, bio as the absence of a significant differences in the rate and extent to which the active ingredient or active moiety in the pharmaceutical equivalent or pharmaceutical alternative we have discussed and read in, in our earlier slide become available at the site of drug action when administered as the same molar dose under the similar condition in an appropriate design study, bioequivalence, two different drugs having the same drug moiety, maybe it's a bio um, uh, equivalent or pharma sorry pharmaceutical equivalent or pharmaceutical alternative, but they must be available at the site of drug action. So by calculating, by estimating this plasma concentration, we can say it is bioequivalent or not. If it is bioequivalent, so we can use as a generic drug product. Drug disposition is the general term that encompasses the four processes that determine drug and the metabolite concentration in plasma, in tissue, and within the cell. Absorption, distribution, metabolism, and finally, excretion by biliary or arena. The description of the drug distribution and elimination is often termed as drug disposition. Drug distribution and elimination is often termed as drug distribution. Characterization of the drug disposition is an important prerequisite for the determination or a modification of the dosing regimen for individual and the group of patients. You can see 
drag in the do this form when drag enter in our body come in solution form in the gastrointestinal sphere then the drug goes into the different compartment, theoretical compartment in the body where they metabolize and after the metabolism they are excreted out in urine, feces, saliva or sweat. 